Okay, major astrological event occurring in deep learning. And I'm not talking about that whole Jupiter-Saturn thing that happened in late 2020, although that was a lot of fun. What I'm talking about is GTC 2021. Look at this. You have Yashua Bengio, Jan LeCern, Jeffrey Hinton, pretty much the three guys that won the Turing Prize for their contributions in deep learning. And others as well, like like Daphne Kohler, who was instrumental in Coursera. I I followed her her work for years. And then others as well. There's just a lot of, of, of people here. But these three in particular, if that's not a reason to sign up for the free GTC 2021, I don't know what else is. First of all, just GTC 2021. It's coming up in just a couple of weeks, April 12th through the 16th. Registration is, pricing is completely free. There really is not a silver lining to covid and 2020, but this is awesome that you can see these conferences rather than having to fly across the country or across the world in some cases. I'm definitely going to be checking out the keynote. The, the keynote is from Jensen Wang, who is the CEO of NVIDIA. So he's got a unique perspective. NVIDIA has come from being a, a gaming company, GPUs, to pretty much at the center of deep learning, at least if you're using a GPU for your for your research. So they and they have made a lot of contributions just beyond GPU, just to general deep learning and other things. I know we use lots of NVIDIA technologies on this channel. Like I said, the point number one, the speakers, phenomenal group this year. In deep learning, speaking of phenomenal speakers, I really want to hear about hear from these two. You've got Francois Chalet, who is pretty much the Kira's guy. I have followed his research and sample code for many, many years, talking about the next five years of TensorFlow and Kira's. You talk to some people on the, the PyTorch crowd, they would say, shouldn't that be the next five weeks or maybe even five days? But no, I, I don't see TensorFlow and Kira's going away anytime soon, but we'll see. And then you've got a vision of future ML frameworks from Sumit Chantala, and this is pretty much on the PyTorch side. So really, PyTorch, TensorFlow, Keras, it's it's kind of like the Highlander movies, and then there were two. But new, new ones pop up all the time. I will do an entire video, likely, after I have seen both of these two presentations, because I don't know. I use both of these technologies on the channel, and I want to see where they're heading, certainly. I do have the course in Kira's and TensorFlow. I mean, the course came out in 2017, and PyTorch was hardly even anything or even released yet at that point. At th then it was basically uh, Torch, which is which had some adoption complexities in terms of if you, I think Lua is the language, which is not anything that I have ever, ever worked with. Then the next of three that I am really interested in seeing is a presentation on the state of Rapids 2021. Rapids is an ecosystem that I've started working with a lot more lately. And this is, this is part of Rapids, of Dask, of Blazing SQL. This is how you can use GPU technology, use almost a supercomputing GPU capability. You can, rather than using a cluster of machines like on a Spark network, you can put a couple of these into your computer GPUs and be able to use that to process data, ETL, something that's not deep learning necessarily, more the earlier part of the pipeline where you're doing tabular processing with SQL type transactions on tabular data. All right, that is, that is the presentation on what I will be looking at for GTC 2021. 
Thank you for watching this video. Give me a like, let me know what you're interested in, and subscribe to the channel for all the latest on deep learning, machine learning, GPUs, and other fun stuff.